think I figured it out. Yeah, everything's looking fine. Everything's good. Hello and welcome to the stream. Hello BP and hello Farls and the other five people that are watching the stream. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're going to be building the new Gundam Verka. Well, I already started this probably, I don't know, six months ago to be honest. And I just haven't finished it for some reason. And um, I'm feeling relatively lazy today, so I don't really want to use a lot of the razor. I'm probably just going to be using God Hands, um, this way nippers for harder parts, like clear parts or anything that, like that. Um, and then my old Gundam Planet nippers to cut it off the runner, and a hobby knife. So let me break those out real quick. But thank you for stopping by the stream. Hope you guys' weekends were good. Got some good builds in, stuff like that. And hopefully the audio is going through just fine. Ronnie, welcome to the stream. Kenny Allen, Yu Wang, welcome to the stream. G-Self Verkara, welcome to the stream. Always wanted to see this kit built live. Good old new Gundam. That is it, that is it. So as you can see, I've already done the arms, chest, and head. So there's not much left on this kit, to be honest. It's gonna be the legs, which is arguably the worst part on any kit. Uh, but that is up to your interpretation. Uh, let's see, I don't even know where I'm at. Somewhere back here. I started building my PG Arsenia 2 today. It's a beautiful kit and my first jumper kit. Awesome. I remember, yeah, you commented saying that you got that as one of your first kits. It's good. Good to know that uh, nothing's going wrong. Okay, so we are somewhere here. I don't know if that's, that's as well. Um, somewhere here. We have. Yeah, I don't know where any of these runners are. I don't remember what any of them look like. So, this may be a sturbo. G Self Perka, have you not built the. Um, I could have sworn you, you built this before. Or maybe. Well. First real great kit that is not a bad idea. From what I've heard, I haven't built mine yet, but from what I've heard, it is an excellent kit. So we need part nine to use to No need to get. But anyway, it's been a week since the last stream. I sound quiet compared to the music. I should probably turn the music down then. I don't know what level I usually have it at, I guess. I'll try to keep it around there and boost my volume. Yeah, this mic volume is a little low. I'm not sure. I don't even think it's going to the right one. It's going to this mic over here, no wonder. Let's change that. Okay, so this, this, have a little less audio quality mic, but it should be higher volume, which is good. I have the Verka and heavy weapon system, but it's going for nearly 300. Yeah, that might be a save for later kind of kit. <laughs> I don't blame you then. Anyways, I wanted the real grade new to be my first real grade kit. From what I've heard, it's it's a really good build. I just recently bought one. Kind of on accident, not really. And I haven't built it yet, so if you build it, let me know how it goes. I've heard it's it's better than this, but I have nothing to compare it to. Sound much clearer? Good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I have a lot of mics going on with 
like connected to my computer and such. Because I have one mic I use for gaming and that stays on a boom arm on the desk. And I have this other mic I've been using for videos, the one I have on me right now. It's a wireless lapel mic. And it's, it's all right quality. I mean, most people won't be able to tell the difference. And then I have another mic that I used to use for videos that's better quality than this, less quality than my, my mic I use for gaming. But I don't have like a good spot to mount it because it's right here and I have to somehow connect it to my computer. I don't know. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, got those out the way. How is this supposed to go? This is like one of the claws, isn't it? Because this kit, like the Sazabi, they're not like really claws, but they're kind of like grip things. So, like you pull them out like that, and it's grip for the kit when they're like standing on like an asteroid or something. Not for the kit, but for the mobile suit, I should say. Okay, got those in, put my nubs aside. This sounds better, definitely thought so. Future car payment is, is greater than Gumpla for now, that's true. That's fair, that is very fair. Do you, do you have the one that is like off white? I remember seeing one on P Bandai that was, it was like heavier weapon system with the off white. So like this was more closer to like an eggshell beige color as opposed to just that regular blinding white. And there we go, our random message of the stream that I need to delete. Okay, love to build on this kit, pending our water slide decals and, and the rest of that message is pending. Yeah, so far from what I remember, I haven't worked on this kit in a few months, but from what I, what I remember, um, it's a relatively smooth build. There are some parts that do feel loose, but nothing that's like detrimental to the kit. The fin funnels were definitely an annoying part of the build. For those who don't know, and there's probably a bunch of people that feel the same way as me, but I hate building multiples of the same thing. Um, like these legs, I have to build two of these and I'm dreading it because it's just like, you're not seeing anything new and you're just doing everything twice as much, you know? But yeah, I'm glad the fin funnels are out of the way already. That's something I don't have to worry about. Double fin funnel custom. I've seen those, I've actually seen the one have, have you, have you all seen the one where it's a new Gundam and they have like so many fin funnels, it goes around in like a complete circle. It's ridiculous. There we go. I need to take a sip of water already. I am feeling parched. Yo, what's up, Ramil? How often do I add panel lines to customize my builds? Um, it's very rare, just because usually when I build a kit, I don't panel line it before I do a video of it if I do a video of it. Um, and in the back of my mind, every kit that I build, I'm always like, I want to paint this later. I want to do a customization of it later. So I end up not panel lining it. 
but then I also end up not doing a customization of the kit. So there's, there's definitely something missing there, but I'm hoping once I fully get back in the groove of things, I'll be building more often and with that, I'll be painting and customizing more often as well. It's a single reason I'm buying the one-to-one -one real grade. One-to-one -one real grade, what does that mean? Fin Funnel Cannon isn't my favorite design-wise, but no more funnels, please. Oh, oh, you're talking about the, the real grade based off of the statue. Yeah, for those who don't know, there is a new Gundam statue. I think it's it's somewhere in Japan that is under construction, but it's a different version. It only has one fin funnel and the fin funnel is huge. And they announced recently that, or Bandai announced recently that they're making model kits of it. There's gonna be an entry grade. Um, I think there is an SD and a real grade version. We tried to pick it apart in the Discord and the real grade looks for the most part the same as the regular real grade, except for the colors and the, what's it called? The single fin funnel, of course. Cool, cool. Let's see, where does this all go together? Is it like this? Nope. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this goes here. This goes here? Yeah. So then this goes here. And this goes here. Does anything go on the back? I don't think so. Also did a runner check. My heavy weapon system is indeed the cream eggshell color. Nice. I always like that one better. It's just, it has a little more like aged look to it and worn in kind of, not necessarily weathered, just like not brand new off the, off the line kind of thing. Okay, we need F11 and A6. F11. Put this here for now. Did I cut it out already? It's gone. It's gone. Oh, I hope I have this part somewhere in this box. I don't know where else it would be. There it is. Nice, beautiful. Any reason they made that change for the heavy weapon system? I have no idea. Um, but I've seen, they've done like the, the original new Gundam kit. I don't know if it was the real grade or the Verka, but I've seen them do, do the, um, other colorway for P Bandai. That's where I originally saw it. And I, at the time when I saw it, I didn't know any better about P Bandai and I thought I could just wait a little bit and then get it later. Nope, that's not how P Bandai works. P Bandai is a beast and not in a good way. Recently subscribed to your channel. Hope you would build a bootleg version of this and provide feedback on the experience. I'm not really a big fan of um, third party kits uh, that are copies of the Bandai kits just because for the most part, the plastic quality is definitely gonna be lower. And that, and it's, I don't know, it's not, it's not technically backed by Bandai, so. 
in a sense, if you want to support more Gunpla designs, you gotta be supporting the, the company that's making them, you know? So third party kits are an all right option if you're really on a budget and, and you wanna try this kit, um, but it's not gonna be the exact same experience. Um, from my experience with a Supernova kit, um, it was one of the Liger kits, Liger, Mugen Liger um, from Zoids. The fit was not that good and all of the plastic felt a little bit cheap. It was all ABS plastic and, but yeah, the biggest thing was that the fitment of the parts weren't that good. And even when like you put on certain parts, the plastic would have stress marks just from like inserting the peg into the hole that's supposed to fit in. So that's not really a good thing. More power to this channel, appreciate it. That sounds just different enough to be exclusive, exactly. It's like, it's like the titanium finishes, except even easier for them to make. And I don't know, but it did look really nice. If you ever get the chance to snag one, you should. It's kind of, it's kind of close to like the easy eight colors. I never took that sip of water that I said I was going to take. Hold on. I realized after I licked my lips just now. <sighs> Sounds like normal Zoids. Well, I haven't built my first um, HMM kit yet. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it though. I don't know what it will be, but I really want it to be uh, the Iron Kong just because it's like a gorilla with so many guns and part of that find or part of me finds that hilarious. The power of FOMO is nearly unrivaled in this hobby. That is true. That is true. There's a lot of FOMO, a lot of regrets. Hello, standby mode. Welcome to the stream. Today we are building the mas Master Grade Verka, or Master Grade New Gundam Verka. And we are working on the legs today. And who knows how long it'll take and how much we'll get done. But thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you're working on in the chat. And if you've worked on this kit before. Is it six? Yeah, six. I do like the clear plastic in this kit because it's not as like harsh or um, what's the word like cracky I don't know brittle that's the word <laughs> brittle as like some other kits are with the clear colors okay so for this I'm not using my god hands I would highly advise not using God hands on any clear parts and or hard plastics. Um, just because with the force you have to use to cut the nub, that could end up damaging your blade. I'm listening to your stream while panel lining a Flame Toys Optimus Prime kit. Nice. I built that one sometime last year. It's a pretty good kit. 
It was my the first time I've, I've done a Transformers model kit before. And it was very nostalgic because I used to play with Transformers a lot when I was a kid. But I've never built one. It is kind of sad that there are no model kits that actually transform in the Transformers franchise. From what I've heard, it's some sort of like... I don't know. I think it's like exclusive to toys. Like it has to be a toy in order for Transformers to license it to be a Transformers toy or something. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm a gunplay YouTuber. For how much I disagree with P Bandai on a fundamental level, I've been able to scoop up most of my dream kits with the recent reprints. That's good to know. And always comforting. This isn't it. There's like three decal sheets with this. What sticker do we need? 24. part does it go on? I'm guessing this inside area. Uh -oh, I'm missing. Missing some. Okay. Said hey to standby mode. Uh, DJ Critical, Brand Snow, welcome to the stream. My first kit was real great, and I, and I think I'm missing all the details from the new high grades that I'm trying right now. Yeah, that'll happen every once in a while. But the good thing about high grades is they're really easy, so you get them done relatively quickly, and it's just it it gives you like that quick burst of uh, fulfillment knowing that you've finished a kit so I've talked about that with a couple of people in the server before and that's the main reason why I like doing high grades just because if I were to do master grades and real grades and perfect grades all day I might lose my mind Got these ones. Weighing the pros and cons of painting certain parts on the runners or if I want to snip first. That's obviously gonna depend on nub mark placement. Personally, I have never painted on the runner, but like I said, it'll depend on nub mark placement and if cutting it out is gonna affect the paint that you apply to it. I think I'm wanting to go simpler and throw SDCS Barbatos Lupus Rex with the frame extensions. Interesting, interesting. But right now I'm trying to consider how to paint all the yellow parts gold, then matte coat, so they're like a dull gold. Oh, like an anodized gold, that'd be nice. Like a flat, you could just probably just do a flat coat over a gold flake and it would still look pretty nice. Okay, so I did those parts. These have stickers to them. Let's see. I and F. So these are like the Sazabi. Where 
they're like a color correcting sticker, but they're translucent. So they don't fully change the color. They kind of just darken the shade of it. Okay. I... Which way does this go? Like this? That's not right. That's not right. Where does this go? I'm being an idiot, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Did I get the right sticker? I got L, no wonder. Okay, hold on. Let me put this back and then I'll catch up with chat. You guys are being pretty active today. Nothing bad about it, but it's just hard for me to keep up. I'm new to Gunplay and I've finished the high grade uh, ZG MF Destiny Gundam and moving on to the Master Grade frame, Red Frame Astray and just ordered a Master Grade Barbatos. Your videos inspired me to start taking photography. Awesome. Well, I think that's like a good part of Gunpla is like, or that's not necessarily a necessary part of Gunpla, but it's a good complementing hobby to Gunpla because it's like you're building the model kits and you're the only one looking at them. So once you start taking photos, that's how you get to share it with your friends or even just post them online and stuff like that. Um, using iPhone to take and edit photos and trying to wrap my head around GIMP on my PC. Any advice on photo editing for Gunpla? I actually have a video on that already. It's part of, it's a part two to my photography tips and tricks video. Um, so you can check it out there and out. There's also some free options free editing software options that I add in the description that you can check out. Um, oh yeah, I forgot the Vercot and color correcting stickers to add more color separation. Good lighting to start standby mode. That is true. Good lighting is great. Honestly, a good camera is not the most important thing to taking pictures. Oh, this doesn't even darken it. It lightens it up. All right. I see you, new Gundam. Ramil, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Such a bizarre move for a kit that's usually so detailed and adverse to stickers. That's true. Yeah, it was definitely a weird part of the Sazabi when I started doing it. Just because, I don't know, like I feel like not only does it not really even need the stickers, but I feel like there's already so many tones of red in the runners that like, did you really need to use stickers for another tone? I don't know. I'm being nitpicky. I guess we should just be thankful that we have color separated parts in general and not take it for granted. Okay. Cool. Got three points of lighting. Good. Um, same. Okay. I've got three master grades waiting on me as well. Shining Gundam and Burning Gundam as well as Strike Noir. Shining Gundam's good. I've built that one. It's an old kit, so it has screws. One thing to note is you got to be careful when screwing that in because you don't want to strip the plastic. So don't tighten it too much. Um, Burning Gundam I haven't done. I'd assume it's pretty similar in construction to the Shining Gundam. 
but I might be wrong, so. Seventeen. Put this one aside. What's up, man? I just discovered Gumpla and can't wait to get started. I have a few on pre-order. When do they usually ship? Um, that's going to depend on where you buy it from. Uh, looks like Ramil was already trying to help you out there. Uh, if I haven't gotten to your question soon enough. But um, so you have major retailers in the States, which would be uh, for the most part Gundam Planet, New Type and USA Gundam Store. There are there, there may be a few other stores that I would consider a major retailer. And by that, I mean um, they get their shipments directly, directly from Bluefin. Um, Bluefin is the U.S. distributor for Bandai products. So they are the ones that are actually importing from Japan. And then they ship it via train or truck to the stores that we buy from. Um, there are other stores that may get it directly from Japan. Um, and the way you'll be able to tell that is if they sell you a kit, there won't be a Bluefin brand sticker on the kit. Um, so this is good and bad because sometimes those stores can sell it for cheaper and they also get it in quicker because they're not going through um, the bluefin or the yeah they're not going through bluefin to import them but um, it's bad because they don't always come with a warranty the warranty would be based on the store and by warranty i mean um, say you open up a brand new kit and a runner is missing a part is missing or a part is broken off the runner already without you opening it bluefin will replace that as long as it is a bluefin brand product you just have to send them an email um, pictures and, and whatnot and um, they'll get that replaced. I had a whole runner that I thought was missing replaced by them and turns out I just had it sandwiched in between two other runners but I didn't realize until I received the replacement from Bluefin so they gave me a whole runner replacement for free which was good but I didn't need it so <laughs> Okay, B210. 10, 10 and K13. Let's see. Big Bad Toy Store says they should ship in January. Um, from my experience with Big Bad Toy Store, it's very hit or miss. Um, they don't really keep you updated with like when things are gonna be delayed and stuff like that. But I've only ordered from them once. So someone else might have better input there. Um, first stream and working on a GM or Gym Sniper 2 kit bash. I find it difficult to work on my Gym Sniper 2 kit bash unless I'm listening to something Gumpla related. Well, thank you for choosing this stream as your Gumpla related audio source. Hopefully that you can, hopefully you can find it uh, chill <laughs> and inspiring even, but cool. Kit bashes are always a very interesting um, way to customize. I want to do a couple kit bashes in the future. I don't necessarily want to share what they will be because they are relatively personal to me it's not like a family heirloom kind of thing but i kind of want to keep it a secret until i actually do it i wish i would have found this hobby before the pandemic yeah that's that's true because the pandemic did kind of um, squeeze the supply a little bit and increase the demand but I mean that's for any hobby really 
anything that isn't domestically created, even some of the things that are domestically created, they are just getting a lot more traffic from people that aren't going out and they're trying to learn new things and do more, do more creative things. Okay, got these two. I got more stickers to put on, but let me find this K runner. Oh. D2, D1. And put the water slides aside so they don't get bent. K, is this the K? This is the K runner. These are both the K runner. Nice. Uh, I think I need 13, right? Yep. Thirteen. Did I cut thirteen out of this one? No, I didn't. This is a pretty big foot thruster right here. Okay. Let me catch up again. I feel like you guys are okay. I'm not too far behind. Not sure if I can plug my new Insta I made, but it's jx.gumpa. Please don't ban. That is completely fine. Um, for anyone that wants to check them out, instagram.com slash jx.gumpla. True, look at this kit compared to the first Vercaz, but I skipped those color correcting stickers when I built this kit. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if I end up painting this in the future, I'll just strip everything down anyways. But I mean, if I'm going to end up leaving it on my shelf for like months or years at a time, then I might as well have it. Excuse me. Curse YouTube chat formatting. Big Bad Toy Store is great for in stock items, but their pre-ordering system is incredibly inaccurate with zero updates. Trans transparency. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, they don't really tell you when something's delayed. So there is another confirmation of that. Checked runners in both definitely has screws. You have a great night. Got work soon. Well, thank you for stopping by, Brad Snow. Hope you, hope you can catch um, one of the next streams. Um, for those of you that are new to the stream, I try to stream on Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Today, I was probably about like 10 minutes late, but... It's always going to be around that time. And if I don't stream, um, I'll put a message out either on the YouTube community tab or in the Discord. But yeah, I use them for their warehouse and ordering kits. I'm in no rush to receive warehousing. I still haven't even tried warehousing with a specific store yet. I'm sure the first time I actually try it is going to be with um, Hobby Link Japan. Well, I've tried it once, but it wasn't my warehouse. I kind of just like group buyed with one of my friends. But yeah, it's an interesting, interesting uh, concept. Okay, hopefully these just pop into place. No fuss. There we go. Oops. There we go. No fuss. Let's see. So which ones do we need? We need J and G. These triangles right here. J is going to go. Wait, does that go? Just right here, I guess so. Uh, 
I don't like how it goes over this crease here, but I will probably just add a little cut there to define the gap. And that is good enough for me. Well, let me trim the top part of the sticker. And press it down a little more. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Another one of those random comments. Hobby Link Japan having no time limit on their warehouse during the pandemic is nice. Yeah, I still haven't ordered from them, so I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't know. But good to know. There haven't really been any kits that I want that are super exclusive to Japan to where I would need to utilize Hobby Link Japan, you know? Okay, got that on there. Give it a little cut. And then trim the top again. Wonderful, wonderful. It's such an interesting look. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let's bring it up. It's like two tone there and it's, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't really seem like it flows that well, but whatever the manual says, No clue if they're still doing it, but man, that store is cool. Great customer service. Yeah, from what I've heard, they have they have really good customer service. I saw that they were doing a promo. It was like a giveaway, but the grand prize was free shipping for a year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but considering it's free shipping from Japan, for something as expensive to ship as Gundam model kits, that is actually a really good prize. Granted, it's only worth as much as you buy from them. But I mean, if you're going to buy from somewhere else, you can buy it from them for free shipping and most likely, depending on the kit, get it earlier than it would arrive in the US or whatever country you're in. Right? Like winning that would actually be a pretty big deal. Oh, these are large ankle joints. 14, 15, 12. If you could design uh, one Gundam, what three colors would I use? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Three colors. Three colors. I would say gray, teal, and dark gray. I don't know. Those are the first things that popped into mind. I really like the color gray and most, if not all variants of the color blue. 
Um, but on a mobile suit. So with mobile suits, with Gundams in general, um, or mobile suits in general, I do like the more militaristic look of mobile suits. But I do also like hero style suits. But I think I, if I were to design one, it would be like a military look like from Universal Century. Um, so with that being said, the color scheme would definitely not be gray and teal. But, hmm, what would it be? I don't know. Maybe just like a gray, dark gray, light gray, um, digital camo. Japanese retailers also have virtually no markup. True. Very true. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, I know that Hobby Link Japan, like they have all of their prices. Wait, it's either Hobby Link Japan or Hobby Search. But they have all their prices in yen with like the US dollar equivalent next to it. And like, so like one thing I recently looked at was the RX-78 2 3.0. And it, here in the United States, it's probably around 50, 48 to 50, 45 to 50 dollars, depending on where you get it. But like in hobby or, or on the Japanese store I was looking at, it can be like $38. It's crazy. What was I doing? This one. It's already almost been an hour and I'm only doing the feet. Like I had the feet started already and I'm still only on the feet. It just goes to show how detailed uh, Vercaz can be or depending on the person, Vercaz. That's so weird. I don't know if you guys remember the Gumpla Expo from last year where they had the hostess, she sounded like she didn't really ever build Gunpla. I think she had just said that she had built her first Gunpla um, the other, like a few days before. Tip from Brian L. I'm a Dispay fanboy because of you. Love your vids. Appreciate it, Brian. Dispay products are very good, and I myself am a Dispay fanboy, fanboy as well. Um, but like I was saying, this host, she was saying that she had just built her first kit like a few days before the Gumpla Expo event and she was hosting it. Um, and then I remember they brought out some kit and then she called it version KA. And the entire chat was just like roasting her for like, is it is it Verka or Ver KA? And then come to find out that a lot of people actually pronounce it ver ka in japan which is interesting i always thought it was like just completely um what's it called ver ka because it's hajime katoki you know so it's just the first two letters of his name but, and i just don't understand where ver ka would come from I would kill for 300 or 3,500 yen master grade spallotitis in age one normal. That is a very uh, low price for you to kill. Two of these. Oh, I need polycaps for this, don't I? 
do 16. Is there only one? Hello? Do I only have one of these? Do I have two of these polycap sheets? That's weird. Oh, there. Okay, I do have two of these. Okay. Do do do. Hmm. Dietrich, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. How have you been? What have you been building? What are you building? If you're working on something right now. Uh, oh, I didn't even clean this one up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That did not work out well. I put it in on the wrong side. Well, it's not necessarily the wrong side, but... Okay, oops. Let's see. So this will pop into here, right? Hopefully not snap anything. There. I'm building right along with you, finishing up my Sazabi car. Our model kits are gonna fight each other. When using adhesive sandpaper, what do I adhere it to? What tool? So you can use, um, depending on the sandpaper, you can use something like a popsicle stick or just like a cut out thin piece of plywood. Um, if you're talking about the display adhesive sandpaper, they have a couple of products. They have like small aluminum boards that you can um, stick them to. They have carbon fiber boards, I think as well. Um, let me see if I have one. I don't know where it is at the moment, but they do have a specific tool called the Dispace Cerberus. That is an, it's a longer aluminum uh, board that you stick adhesive paper to. And um, that's pretty cheap. It's somewhere between like six to eight dollars probably. And um, yeah, so you can check that out. Um, I also have a review of it on my channel if you wanted to check it out before buying um, with a very cool uh, promo video I did for it. Go. 18 I need. Yep. I know this is a strange question, but is the plastic band I use is recyclable because I put my runners in the recycling bin? Uh, yes, it is recyclable, but I think you might have to double check with your state. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if um, everything was. The plastics you want to look out for are polystyrene and ABS plastic. Um, so polystyrene is, from what I remember, it's a sort of foam. So it kind of has the same chemical makeup as like packing peanuts. Packing peanuts I don't think are recyclable. But if it's plastic like this, 
then polystyrene is recyclable. There's a couple different plastics. I actually did, um, I looked into it a little bit a few months ago and polystyrene for sure is recyclable. But there's another plastic. So there's polystyrene. Um, I don't remember actually. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think, but it's not coming to mind. Where does this go? Oh, this just goes in here. Like that. Mmm, okay, so that's how the psycho frame shows. You just push it back, I guess. I don't think they're recyclable. Usually you can check with your local recycling facilities, but likely not. Yeah, it'll it'll really depend on where you live and what kind of plastics are accepted. So yeah. Do people usually keep their runners if you're doing custom work? I'm in the U, uh, UK, Wales actually, nice. Oh, so it's pretty late for you. It's like, I don't know, 2 a.m., something like that. L runner, L runner. D2. Ooh, ooh, come on. I'm feeling this is the L runner. It is. The one at the very bottom. That's always how it is. That one. And this one. I have a box full of different runners and some for the clear runners. I use them to extend pegs sometimes. Yeah, some people will save runners just for the plastic itself. Um, some people will actually make, uh, what's it called? Kind of like a, a putty for specific colors of plastic. So say like a part snaps off and you want to glue it back together, you can make a putty so that it doesn't lose that much form when you glue it back together. Uh, I like keeping spare runners of some colors because you can clip them up and use them with some thin cement to make some sprue glue. Good for fixing parts. Exactly what I was just saying. Thank you, Bronnie. Polyethylene. That's the other one. Or that's another one. I think there's like three or four different plastics using gum plicates, but polyethylene is another one. Are most people here from the United States? I am from the United States, if you couldn't tell by my accent. Um... Yeah, I live on the East Coast. L10 and 11, and then J2019. Sprue glue, also great for seam line removal. Yes, it is. New York game. Is the snow heavy where you guys are? We recently got snow. My state doesn't really deal well with snow. Um, but it wasn't that much, thankfully, so everything's pretty cleared up already. My brother lives in Cali. He loves it. Nice. That's cool. It's always nice to have a sibling that, well, not necessarily nice, but it's interesting to have a sibling that lives in another country. I had, uh, my sister used to live in Germany 
So I had gone to visit her once and it was a nice place. It was very clean, which I like. Um, a lot of like sightseeing to do nature wise. And then we went to the German Alps to go snowboarding. That was pretty cool. Asian country here. Looks like you've got a great community, brother. Keep it up. Yes, sir. That is all thanks to you. You, oh, all of you. <laughs> Obviously, I would not be able to create such a great community without members. So I appreciate you guys and ladies and others. switch on a more chill playlist after this song ends. There we go. There's my cue. There's my cue. Where's the pause button? Go away. Genres. Let's do this. Wait, I've already played there. Okay, here. I don't know if this playlist is going to be good. Hopefully, though. I don't hear anything. <laughs> we'll see. Still snow, still snowing down up here. Dreading the shoveling tomorrow morning. I just shoveled yesterday, and as long as it's fresh, it's really not too bad. Just don't wait too long for it to melt a little bit. So even if it melts a little bit, it's, it's annoying. L9. I need the other L9. Looks like we are getting some pistons to put in the legs. That's always a welcome sight. Need that Donkey Kong Country 2 water level theme for immaculate vibes. True. I don't know what it sounds like, but if it's Donkey Kong, I'm sure it's good. Brian, there is a Discord. Um, if you check the description of the stream, you should see a Linktree link. It should be like Linktree slash Amilla. Uh, if you click that, there's an invite to the Discord. And that is how you can quickly join it from here. Or if anyone else wants to post an invite link into the chat, that is more than welcome. Let's see. Favorite tool of mine became the razor real quick. Razor is is yeah, it's gonna be one of my favorite tools for a long time. It's hard to beat. It's just like a really Simple tool that can do a lot more than you would expect. So, what color would J be? J looks like it's gonna be clear. Not that one. I don't know if it would be clear actually. What color would J be? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? It's this one for sure. It's gray. Yay. Okay, 19 and 20 times 2. I don't think the song's playing, is it? The song isn't playing. Is it? I can't tell. I think it's just a really quiet song. Okay, 
There it is. Not 100% on how to actually use Discord, but I'll join. I'm like 28 and can't use Discord and me. Hey, there's always time to learn. Don't sell yourself short. I used to live in Michigan, and my favorite thing to do in the winter was shoveling the driveway. Tactical Mitch, thank you for joining the stream. Yeah, shoveling the driveway isn't really... I mean, I did it for... I've... Well, it was the first time in my current house, of course, because I just moved here. Um, when I was younger, I've only really done it maybe twice. Um, it, was, it didn't seem that bad. It's kind of kind of uh what's the word not relaxing but it's like makes it feel good just because like if you get that perfect scoop of snow and leave that boxed trail of just driveway it's very I don't know the word, it's not coming to mind. Not hypnotic, not, I don't know. I can't think of it. Someone's gonna think of it and I'm gonna feel dumb. We'll teach you fam, I'm really proud of the Discord community. Yeah, g Furka is one of our mods and she has enjoyed her time in the server. And I can attest that the members we have are pretty great to talk with. And we have some pretty good discussions each day. So about anything too, not just Gumpa. Today we're talking about what the uh, best Filipino food to try would be. I don't know if you saw my pick in the Discord, but my driveway is unfortunately super long and I shovel it solo. Oh, that might be different because my driveway is not long at all. Um, might I suggest a leaf blower? <laughs> Honestly, if it's fresh snow, a leaf blower can um, work pretty well. But if you have neighbors that are like right next to your driveway and you just blow the snow on their driveway, uh, that's probably not going to be good. So it might be a situational thing. Oh, I hope it didn't. Okay, cool. This, this, then I trim this one. Okay. I think I have all the parts here. I just need to cut the poly caps out. This one and where's the other one? Right here in front of me. Need 12, 13, 14. So 12, 13, 14. It's almost therapeutic. Therapeutic's one word to say, yeah. I'm gonna try it out and let you know tomorrow morning if it works. Nice. Yeah, as long as the snow's fresh, it should work. Like if the snow's packed down at all, it probably will have some trouble. But, we'll see. Hopefully it works. Uh, yeah, and this one, dun, 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 dun. this beat has like nice oriental vibes and jazzy vibes. It's very interesting. I've heard that flamethrowers work fairly well. 
I feel like I've heard that too, but I also don't know if it's like a troll thing. <laughs> This goes here. This should be able to pop in there. Likewise with this one. And so this will go here. Nice. So I have this. I have this. These are going to go on the same side, it looks like. Okay. And then, so we have these, we have these the same on both sides. I think this part has to go up. Put that there, take one of these and it will go onto this side that will go there go there nice so there we have our first part of our knee bend L L L which one is L I think it's this one L8 I have a flamethrower, but we don't ever get any snow where I live. Well, you can try making your own snow. take this then pop it in here there we have our oh I hate when the parts do that they have like that little bit that small gray area where they can pop out from each other but we do have some good piston action there same thing we'll go for this part pop it in get some piston action there Cool. Now we need L14 and 15. Got you on Insta and Discord, bruv. Appreciate it. Stay in my mode.
baby's bedtime, so I'll be lurking. Good luck, have fun. Thank you, Romeo, for stopping by. Hopefully, 5k easy goes down easy. <laughs> See what I said and what I did there? see pop that one there then this one should go here my first time building working hydraulics on the barbie are what hooked me on master grades yeah it's definitely a good treat in a nice master grade to have pistons that work as opposed to just visual ones like these. Well, these aren't really pistons. These are tubes. But like there's some kits that have just the tubes like this. And they don't move. And it's like, what's the point? Why do I bother? Okay, what's next? L13. Is it 13? Yeah. 1. This plastic is very soft, by the way. One, three. Pistons are what sold me on the Barb 2. Yeah, the Barbatos has... It might be the best inner frame of all Master Grades, to be honest. Everything kind of has a purpose in it. And like, it's not just a whole bunch of stuff jumbled together. And the detail of it makes sense. Loving the pistons in the middle of working on for Barbie. Yeah, Barbie Toast does have a good reputation. I feel like I want to pick up a second one, but I do have a clear armor kit I could build. I might do that and then clear coat it to get it all glossed out. That would be pretty nice. Um, what do we need? B1. That's not this, is it? It's A1. B1 was the yellow. That's what it was. B1, 6. started craving double Zeta Verka recently like not even the Faz Verka just the double Zeta which is weird I'm not a huge I'm not huge into bulky UC designs I don't remember oh I do kind of remember what double Zeta looks like yeah that one is a big one
Yeah, bulky designs aren't the greatest, but sometimes when you get them in a really nice pose that they can actually stay in, they can look pretty nice, pretty nice and menacing. Do you think someone with ever real work real mechanical parts which move? Haha, <laughs> like a mini real mech program some software. That would be interesting. I mean, I've seen like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of us here have seen it, but there's like Gundam Unicorn models that actually transform on their own electronically. Um, I don't think they're actual model kits though. They look like, cause you can see, um, what's the word? You can see like the, the, What's the word? Like the rods that hold the pieces in place. There's a certain term for that. I forget though. Master graded double Zeta Verka is a hundred percent worth it. That is a that is a bold claim. I haven't built it, but that's a bold claim, especially for a kit that's like eighty to a hundred dollars. I mean, that wouldn't be the first time I wasted money on Gumpla. <laughs> this lined up we'll push it in with our knife maybe um, what else can we use we can just use this part snug it up in there line this one up as well Okay, that is lined up. So now that that's lined up, I can pop it in here and it's gonna mess it up anyways. <laughs> or not, nice. Perfect. Okay, now where do these go? We need L18 and L5. Over here. Which means we'll need L19 soon enough. Yellow parts are painted, time to dry. Ooh, new blood in the Discord. Farrells is gonna haze you guys. Did my stomach just growl? Okay, so we have these. How do they connect? So on this, this is gonna go back here. And this is going, it looks like it goes here. Okay. 
Interesting. Okay, 17 and 24. Seventeen, twenty-four, seventeen. 24. <clears throat> I couldn't tell if that was you or me. I'm starving. Y'all should try eating. Can be a pretty good experience. Never heard of it. What grades does it come in? Do you think Gundam Evolution will be coming to the PS5? I'm thinking Sony really needs it now after Xbox's last purchase. I really just want it to come to the West. I'm pretty sure it is coming to the West. It's just going to release in the... Um, it's probably going to be Japan exclusive for a little bit. Um, sometime, I would guess, uh, quarter two, 2022. I would hope quarter two. But, who knows, it might end up being December, for all we know. It's just supposed to be 2022. Um, but, with that being said, I am also looking forward to it. Uh, I'm hoping to play it on PC. I, th I would think it's going to be coming out on PC, PS5, and Xbox all at the same time. But I might be wrong. It might be consoles first, it might be PC first, or it might be just one of them first. Who knows? Okay, so I got this. Take this, this goes in here. And then. I don't remember where does this go? Oh like this. Like that, okay. So we could take this and do the same thing here. Put this here. I hate building legs. But it's a necessary evil. I will do what I must. Um, so this is apparently a controversial question, but would you rather get a Master Grade G Savior Verka or Master Grade Kits for the other Gundam f Gundam's form Season 2 of Double O? Um, huh. hmm. I feel like I would say the G Savior kit. I don't even know what the G Savior looks like off the top of my head, to be honest. But I know the season two of Double O wasn't that mind blowing to me, so. I don't know. 
That's just personal opinion, of course. L20 and 21. I asked a few of my friends and they all gave me different answers. I mean, yeah, not everyone's gonna be the same. Like I said, I personally haven't watched um, G Reco, which I'm assuming G Savior is from. Um, so I don't really have a strong opinion of it. Season two of Double O was, eh, it was cool. It wasn't like amazing though. So, there's that. Okay, we are getting some inner frame parts that have a very strong Sazabi vibe because they kind of have like that bell bottom look, which I don't even know if these are close to the ankle or not, but if they are, big Sazabi vibes. Okay, so we have this, um, we have this, this is going to go here, and this is going to go here, I think, yeah. See, like, does this not look like a small Sazabi foot, or am I tripping? Yes, is the answer. Go. Okay, so now we need L6 and L19. Season 1 double O kits are better than Season 2. I agree. G Savior for something different. That's kind of what I was leaning towards. Just because, like, I mean, you can't go wrong with Dynamez, Virtue, and Kyrios. Exia, I mean, well, I guess the double O is technically the season two kit. But yeah. They just hit different, you know? Man, I really forgot how involving master grade kits were. There is a lot of mechanic or mechanical motion going on in this leg frame. And I love it actually. I'm not dreading building the legs right now.
Boom. That and these god hands are making it pretty simple and bearable. <laughs> This goes here, so it snugs down. Then we take this piece and go here. Oh, this is getting interesting. Okay. This goes here. If it doesn't there okay this is getting interesting and then this should go here then boom wow this is a pretty nice inner frame Uh, we are going to have a little bit limited knee bend because of this back thruster, but oops. And that's going to pop out almost every time, apparently. I think once we put the armor in, it'll probably limit it enough to where it doesn't pop out like that. Let's see. So this went like this, right? And then we had this part go here. Then we had this part go here like that. Yep. Okay. And then this part. Right here. Boom. So I'm sure there's more stuff we have to add, but we are gonna test fit test fit the foot right there. And that's what the leg frame is looking like so far. Pretty nice. It's a little hollow right there, but there's a thruster that's gonna take the spot. Feel like something's gonna fill in right here as well so um yeah it's looking good so far i like that i like that a lot Ow. okay let's close these out i've asked you, um hello i'm a complete beginner to gumpa so hi lmao thank you for joining elfheim I'm thinking of getting Barbatos Lupus High Grade as my first because it looks super sweet. Not sure if it's a good beginner choice, but eh. Um, it's an alright choice. So I built that one recently. Um, I haven't done a review on it, but most of the High Grade Arm Blooded Orphans kits are um, good quality. The main thing you'll find is that all of them run with poly caps, meaning there's like a, a rubber piece that will control the motion of the joints. And those can wear out from time to time. Um, so you'll, you might find that after posing yours for a little bit that it'll start to become floppy. Um, there are ways to help prevent that. But out of the box, um, it'll be stiff for a little bit. But then after a little bit of time, it'll start to sag when you pose it and stuff like that. So that is my only comment on it. Um, but to everyone else, thank you for watching the stream. Sorry you joined late Elfheim, but if you want to join on the next stream, um, my streaming schedule is going to be, or I'm trying to make it Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So 
Hopefully we'll get another stream this Wednesday. If not, I'll let you guys know in the Discord or in the YouTube community tab. Um, but this is going to be the end of our stream. We made it this far, finished the inner frame of the legs. I think all we have to do is, um, well, it looks like we have a few more inner frame parts and then we have to put the armor on it. After we put the armor on it, then we are going to work on the chest, or not the chest, the waist section um, to connect it up in here. Um, I don't think we have the backpack done yet either. So we have the rest of the legs, the waist, the backpack, um, and the weapons. So we might be able to get that all done in um, the rest or in the stream on Wednesday, but we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining the stream today. And um, yeah, <laughs> if you haven't joined the Discord, go ahead and click the link in the description if you want to join. Um, but other than that, thank you guys again. Um, hope you have a good rest of the night and start building.